folks, welcome back. I'm your host, RR Slugger, and I wanted to make a quick video to inform everyone that I've opened up a P.O. box for the summer. If you want to send anything my way to potentially look at in a video or live stream, I've left the mailing address in the video description. I went with the biggest size available, but even still, this is what we're looking at. You'll just have to keep your sealed Rock Raider HQ sets to yourself, unfortunately. Please keep in mind that the P.O. Box is only open for the summer. If you're watching this video any time after August 2023, then you may have to wait until next summer. Sorry. Anyways, enough of that, let's talk LEGO. In front of us today is set 6420 Mail Carrier. Released in 1998, this tiny set consists of merely eight pieces and a minifigure. Still, I promise there's plenty to talk about. For starters, our mail carrier's bright red jumpsuit is actually exclusive to this set. If you recall when we discussed Biker Bob on this channel, then you may remember that this is quite notable for 1998 standards. This minifigure is part of a rather exclusive club, and what better way to show this off than to ride in style. I was shocked when I looked this up, but the mail carrier's yellow bicycle is also set exclusive. He can keep his black messenger bag attached to the side for transporting mail, and the set also contains two letters as accessories. But where would a mail carrier be without a mailbox to collect from? This mailbox only consists of three pieces, but again, one of them is quite noteworthy. Can you guess which one? That's right, this black 2x2 two two is yet another set exclusive element to this, I I'm kidding, I'm kidding, it's the mailbox door. Surprisingly not set exclusive, it remains rare though, only appearing in one other town set. So out of less than a dozen pieces, three of them remain rather notable. Well, four actually. I glossed over it earlier, but the mail carrier's face print is a source of personal fascination for me. It's not set exclusive, at least it's not supposed to be, uh, I don't know. L let me explain. Some of the folks watching might recognize this face print from their old Ice Planet or Western sets, but that's not this guy, that's this guy. This original face print debuted in 1993 and saw steady use for the next nine years. However, in 1997, it appears there was an effort to replace it with this updated design. According to Bricklink, the newer face print was featured in 15 sets during its two year lifespan, but... I know that's wrong. At first, I thought maybe I was going crazy when my copy of 6462 Aerial Recovery came with this guy, rather than what we see pictured on the box. But this is not an isolated incident. Other builders have run across this as well. For example, Brian's Bricks opened a sealed copy of 6584 Extreme Team Challenge, and look what he found. I don't know if these were one-off mix-ups or not, but it's been my experience that this face print is far rarer to find in the wild than Bricklink's database lets on. If we put the two face designs on a timeline, we can see that the original print both predates and outlives what I think was intended to be its replacement. Are there other instances of this in LEGO's part history? It's so weird. Anyways, I don't have an answer, only more questions. I'm really curious what your experience has been with this face print, if you have one. If you were ever confused about this in the past, hopefully you can take some solace that you are among others who are equally confused. That's the unsolved mystery. Once again, this video was brought to you by the Summer of Slug, and my thanks go out to all of those who helped make it happen. If you want to join the party, check the link in the description. Oh, and did I mention I opened a P.O. box? Thanks for watching. I've been your host, RR Slugger, and I'll see you next time for another video.